Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, your money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Hey, you packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Sucking my waist on. Hello ladies, yes, hi, gel, acrylic, pick your color. Welcome back to the channel and if you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, all of that. Make sure your bell is on. Um, so in the thumbnail, in the title, you saw we have an unboxing today of a red iguana. But first honey, I gotta get into my girl Jasmine. My girl Jasmine is my silicone hand and she has been there for me through thick and thin. I actually purchased her on... Uh, the flexifinger.com I think it was like slash EU or something like that um, very popular a few years back and they had really good hands really good nice they didn't have all that 3D dimension or anything but they were really good really cute I try not to beat her up I try to take care of her she did get you know a little split at the cuticle Hold on. she did but she looks really good with there it goes. Can you see it? Like she has a little split there, whatever. But when I got this one, when I received, uh, when I received her, you see her nail beds. They're quite beautiful. But this one was damaged. Like it was missing some of the inside. So I contacted them. And um, I forgot what she did for me, but they were very nice. They did something, and I ended up just keeping her because I know that once I put the tips on, you know, you wouldn't really see that. So, love her complexion. It's very similar to my complexion. There she is. That's Jasmine. So that was a few years back. And now the big brand selling the most beautiful hands is called the Red Iguana or Red Iguana. Um, you can, I'll put the website in the link around. Uh, they are more realistic. They have, I guess, three models. This would be the 3.0 model and it is very realistic. So I'm very excited to unbox her and share this big, huge surprise with you guys. So when I purchased Jasmine, she was a reward to me. I was, um, you know, practicing on myself and transitioning from gel to acrylic. And I really didn't have that many girls to work on at all. Maybe just one, you know, a friend or two. So it was very helpful in helping to remind you to repeat steps and what to do and how to shape. And just, I was able to just, you know, practice whenever I wanted to. And now it's like four years later, girl, I still have just a few, a few girls, you know, but they're not really getting the designs that I want to do. And so I really wanted to up my game and give myself a, you know, stick with it. Good for you for sticking with it. Gift. It is a red iguana uh, realistic silicone hand I'm so excited and uh, this is my paper I got that my receipt I got the 3.0 silicone practice hand non posable and uh, I also got a stand to go with her I wasn't sure how it all uh, assembled it's all sold separately and I was like I better get that like I saw some of the videos if you're familiar Zule um, uses her silicone hand a lot from Red Iguana. It is very beautiful. The sets are really amazing. And she has the stand as well, which I don't think she uses it a lot. And we'll get to that later. But this is how it comes packaged. So cute. A little gift box. And this is how the stand comes. Um, it's a bit different than the one that I have. But the sticky on my old one is not so great like it constantly will fall over if you know how to fix that like what is that like i don't know why it's doing that but a new one always sticks really good this has a little ball thing here they sell half hands like up to the wrist and those fit on this stand as well i think it has like a a hole dig out in the back of the wrist part um, but if you're using the half hand, like what I bought, you get this little magnetic square plate thing. Um, I do wish it was way more like, like magnet, like, doof, like, you know, I need like Navy army quality. Um, but it had a good suction magnet. You could feel it 
um, holding on. So we're going to get into the hand. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Look at this little box. Um, yeah. So these are the different shades. The hands are available in from like a really nice deep chocolate to like coffee, cinnamon, tea with milk. You know, maybe a mulatto-ish, down to your Puerto Rican, down to your pale girls. So I think there's a hand for everyone to enjoy working on best. And they give you a little jewelry to go with it. This is the little silk pouch. So beautiful. Very nice. When I pulled it out, it seemed a little small, like, like hoof-like. And uh, that's because she does not have a thumb. It's only the four fingers, which we only do anyway. So I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, it'll probably look better in pictures because I'm not avoiding a thumb or the thumb is off to the side, not done. This is the magnetic thing in the back of the half hands that will magnetize to the plate. And it's like, it works, it works, but I wish it was like really super, super magnetized. I feel like when you're filing, you could possibly pull it off. So here I'm just comparing like the color and the shape. Definitely my new hand is giving realistic. She has like these airbrush knuckles. It's so beautiful. And I'm just fooling around sticking Jasmine's tips in her so I can see what she would look like with a full set. Um, they do kind of fit, but obviously they're not custom made to her fingers. So I'm not, you know, pushing too hard. I just place them in. I just want to see. And look at that cuticle area. Like that looks good. That looks like something you could clean with your brush. You know how you swipe your brush around that cuticle edge to clean off the acrylic? Um, I feel like you could cut in the crease with your brush with these. Like, this has a good um, cuticle area. So, look at her. Oh, my gosh. She looks like a real person. Doesn't she look so dainty? She looks like a real... Look at her in photos, bitch. Oh, my God. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you some of that, what she looks like. And uh, I have a little surprise for you guys. I know. I know. I have another surprise for you guys. What? Is there a second hand? Does that mean I have two hands? Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. What happened was I had placed my first order, right? And, of course, you know how we do. We go to the website. We're checking again, double-checking again, double-checking. I'm looking to see if I missed out on anything because I got fear of missing out. And also, I wanted to see because most of the time when you get a silicone hand, they come with, like, just a little small pack of tips. Um, so at least you get an idea of what tips, what shape fits best, what which ones they suggest. Um, so I went back to my order and well I went back to the item to see if it does come with tips and it did not and I was like shit but then I'm scrolling and I see that they have a refurbished section and normally refurbished means like okay maybe there was a little bit of damage but they fixed it and so it's been repaired right when you get a refurbished phone I mean it's working they fix whatever kink was wrong with it right so I was like okay and I was like that's cute no pressure here right I was just looking but then I saw they had Nicole, which was the hand that I just bought, right? So I was like, okay, cool. You know, refurbished Nicole shit. I should have got that. But then I saw she was the opposite hand. <gasps> Bitch, I couldn't resist. I could not resist. I, could, I was ready to sell my firstborn. I was like, no, I need this. Like, what are the chances that I would get this refurbished hand is the opposite of the hand I just bought. You know, so I'm getting that a better deal. And she's a poseable hand, so she makes little little positions. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Your girl's living her best life. I'm gonna have so much fun um, playing around with her, and then having like like one client. I feel like I've gained a whole client, and I'm so excited. Like she looks so good. Look how she poses. We'll play with her. We'll see what she's giving. Um, yeah, I was just, so I stuck in another previous set because they're the same size as Jasmine. So I knew they were going to fit her because it's the same hand and they fit her. So I just got to like see what she would kind of like give with the full set. So here she is prepped. 
Don't let the denim fool you. I don't know if we'll do denim. I'm not sure. It depends if you want to. But I just wanted to see, like, what she's giving. She's giving client. What should we name her? I also feel like when I got Jasmine, I was at a time in my nail journey where I needed to remember steps. The feel of a finger in my hand. Point it down. Let let gravity help you with that acrylic you know, um, just coming up with maybe some creative ideas and stuff. But now at this point in my journey, I do get more girls. So the goal is more like working on time, getting a little faster with two hands, um, making the design cohesive and just give you a beautiful full set that is equally laid. That's where I'm at now. And I just feel like she's giving So clearly the product is as fantastic and pricey as we all knew it would be. She is giving all that we see in video with the girls who can afford her. Yes, she looks really good. I did want to briefly go over the website. Um, So this is the website. Now, this is the first like checkout page, your cart page or whatever. Um, So when I checked out the first time... I added two items to my cart, not these items. I had a hand and the stand, right? So then you want to check that I agree box, and then you go to checkout. There's no place to put the code right here. You got to click agree and then continue to check out. Now, pay pay close attention, girl. Pay close attention. So this is the page that's going to have, or you're going to input your your credit card information, your address, things like that. And then at the bottom of that is where you enter your code. Now I'm going to show you on screen the code that I used. And after that, the price was lowered greatly. And I was amazed. It was amazing. Um, so I told you that I had went back late, like I'm talking about like I was shopping maybe 11, 12 and then went back at seven in the morning. So yes, it's the next day, but it was like literally hours, um, that I'm back on the website and I did the same process and I typed in the little code and I guess somehow that it didn't click apply. I didn't, I didn't click apply like I did the first time. And I noticed when I went to pay, well, I had click pay now and then boop, boop, order accepted. And I noticed there was no discount code. Now, if the discount code was just not going to apply to the item, usually you'll get a little error message saying your discount cannot be applied or it would have insinuated that during the item description, like cannot be used with a code. I didn't see any of that. I figured I would be able to tell in the total if it did apply. So once I see the confirmation pop on the screen, I see that the code didn't go through. I'm like, oh my God, shit. I know I put it in there. I just did it with the first order. Like, why didn't it click? It must not have caught on the screen when I tapped it. You know, sometimes it won't pick up your tap. I was like, what do I do? I was like, hurry up, send them an email. I was like, if I was Zule herself, it was like, hey, girl, I just placed an order for two more hands. And I don't know, I typed in my code, but I don't think the click went through. I would think the girl would say, hey, girl, no problem. Don't worry. I can do something because the order has not shipped. You literally just clicked it. I see your previous order. I see your recent order. It's not shipped. You just clicked it. Thank you for emailing us. No. The next day, now I know it's too late. Um, I get an email from them saying, hey, sorry, not much we can do once it's shipped. And I can understand that, you know, I can understand that. But literally, I just placed the order. It's freaking nine o'clock in the morning. I, I, I know that if it was one of your friends or someone you associate with, you know, you could have looked into it a little more. You could have saw that I was telling the truth, that I had just placed an order. I came back to order again. Like, no love for that. No acknowledgement. Like, thank you for your previous orders. Thank you for coming back. You know, here's a coupon for your next purchase. Like, no, you know, incentive to come back to the site or or make me feel like you really gave a fuck. So I felt like they were really cold. It was giving, like, Chanel Prada, Louis Vuitton vibes, like... No deal, cop and go, we're already expensive and luxurious and you're getting enough, so we're not going to give you anything more. And that's fine, 
whatever. At the end of the day, you know, just be super careful when you're on the website. Make sure you're clicking and things are applying. And, you know, just so that you can get the most as a customer. So thank you for listening to me talk about my experience with the luxury brand. Um, I'm a happy customer as far as my item. I love it. It, it. it definitely lived up to all the expectation. She's gorgeous. And I can only imagine that all the different skin tones are equally as beautiful. So, yeah, go ahead. Give it a try. Just pay attention. Um... But girl, if you're here for us doing full on sets, like it's going to be so exciting. I'll see you in the next video. I'll think of something really good. Don't forget to leave like a name suggestion down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.